Let me tell you guys, like, it was so hard to sit and make this video. Like. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae if you are new and welcome back to a new video. I make content centered around my weight loss journey, beauty and lifestyle, and I hope you subscribe. So today's video is going to be week three's weigh in. I'm gonna let you guys know how I did as far as my weight, my fitness, my nutrition, my mental health, all that good stuff. We're gonna figure out how I did this week and if I lost any weight, or not. So if you're interested to see how week three went, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so you know, I always start with my weigh-in results and let's just dive right into it. Last week, I weighed in at 260.2 with a BMI of 42.8 and a body fat percentage of 55.5. And this week, I weighed in at 261.2 with a BMI of 43.0 and a body fat percentage of 55.8%. Yeah, so that is a 0.8 weight gain for this week. And my BMI and my body fat percentage also went up by a little bit as well. So my total weight loss since starting on January 1st, 2022 is 4.4 pounds and my total weight loss since from my highest weight is 26.2 pounds that's my total weight loss so far and if you guys haven't watched my first monthly weigh-in with my measurements or any of my previous weekly weigh-ins i'll go ahead and link them in the cards above and throw them in the description box as well so let's just get into it what happened this week not making any excuses at all I'm just letting you guys know what happened this week. I told you guys from the beginning, I'm going to share with you my good and my bad. What is happening, what I'm doing, what's working for me, what's not working for me, my failures, my successes, all of it. So this is just the first video of a failure. And let me tell you guys, like, it was so hard to sit and make this video. Like it really is just because of all of the positive comments that I've been getting from people on TikTok and on YouTube and on Instagram. Like it's just been so much positivity and motivation from you guys and I greatly appreciate it. But with that, I mean, I'm sharing my journey and it's gonna be like this, especially because I said that January is my foundation month and so, I don't want to disappoint myself. I don't want to disappoint you guys. So it was very hard to make this video. I'm not gonna lie, very hard. So I'm gonna break it down like I normally do, hydration, fitness, nutrition, and mental health. So starting with my hydration, I did not hit a gallon a day. Uh, there was a couple times a week, I don't even think I hit a half a gallon. And I'm gonna sum up why that is once I get to the nutrition and mental health um part of this video yeah i did not do well with my hydration towards the end of the week um the beginning of the week i pretty much stayed around like the first two days monday tuesday i worked out so i went ahead and got a gallon of water and then wednesday thursday i probably had about a half a gallon and then friday saturday probably barely hidden a half a gallon of water for those two days. So that's where hydration is. As far as fitness, I only worked out twice this week. I only worked out on Monday and Tuesday. I did a great chest, tricep, and shoulders workout. I did a great back and bicep workout. I had a great rotation of cardio. My knee was not hurting. My body was not hurting. But I'm going to dig into why I didn't continue on for the rest of this week once I get to the mental health part. So you guys, I don't think I've mentioned this on this channel yet, but I do have hypothyroidism. I discovered that after I had my second child, so probably the beginning beginning of 2021 or the very ending of 2020 I can't really remember and my doctor said something about a Hashimoto I don't know I'll put the the word the actual word up here on the screen because I don't want to butch it up but um she said that my levels 
were not low enough i think it's low low enough for me to receive treatment or be on medication for it and i'm not experiencing any symptoms so she was comfortable like there was no need to put me on any type of medication but she just told me that eventually it will get there i haven't gotten my levels checked on it in a while though if we're in january i'm pretty sure i was supposed to get it done in september and i did not go but i do know the warning signs of it i do know that it could be a factor in weight loss it could be a factor in how I proceed with my nutrition just by like being in different like weight loss groups, Facebook groups, support groups and stuff like that. And hearing people talk about it, talking about it with my doctor, like I know it could be a factor for me. I say all that to say I've been eating higher protein, moderate carbs, low fat that's what i've been sticking to as of january 1st that's how i've been eating been eating in a calorie deficit i have been crashing so much this week don't know what it is couldn't figure it out why i've been struggling with my nutrition really from the beginning but th with the third week it really hit my body hard i have been fatigued i have been crashing after meals i have been hungry craving food and never satisfied it's overly snacking still having my three meals but i noticed i was snacking a lot like i'm because i'm trying to fill up because i'm hungry which is probably why i was overeating the last few weeks because i'm just never satisfied but what really triggered me was the crashing. Like I just felt like, and I don't have diabetes, but I do know that my fasted blood sugar levels, my A1 is elevated, but not enough to where it is diabetes. But I'm thinking now I should go ahead and get my blood levels checked just to make sure internally everything is okay. But I'm thinking now there may be an issue as far as how I'm eating and how my body is reacting to it. And so, so back in December 28th, 2018, I went on a weight loss journey and I lost 60 pounds. I did that from like from December 2018 to like May 2019. Like I was really on a weight loss journey and I'll put my before and after pictures um, up there just so you can see I lost 60 pounds. And I was doing that through keto. That's what I was doing, the keto diet. And it worked, I mean, it worked for me. It obviously you can tell, like I lost weight. It worked for me, it was working fast for me. I wasn't feeling the way I'm feeling now, but I did not want to do that. I didn't want to do keto this time around. I didn't want to have to cut out a food group. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go back to that just to get my blood sugar levels together and the crashing together and the fatigue together because I didn't suffer through any of that when I was on keto the first time. I actually felt so much better when I was on the, when I was on the keto diet previously. But I've been like so anxious about deciding to do that. And when I feel stressed and this now we're transitioning into the mental health part of this video but when i feel stressed i shut down that's my reaction i immediately ball up internally and don't want to do anything which is why i did not work out for the rest of the week because i honestly didn't feel like it i kind of was like whatever with my diet just because of the issues i was having and again me feeling so stressed out because the nutritional part is what's stressing me out the most it's always been my downfall so it's really heightened stressed with it so i kind of like threw that out the window and naturally when i'm not working out when i'm not eating right i don't drink enough water so it all suffers and it all stems from nutrition for me this is all of the emotions i was dealing with this week i, I kind of calmed down calmed down about it really thought about it and it's just a lot it's just it's just a lot right here and that's that's just where i'm at for week three 
but I did um, go ahead and went food shopping this week. Well, today I went food shopping earlier today, which is why this video is kind of out later than it has been previously. I went shopping, grabbed some keto type of items. And I actually started today. I haven't been like tracking because I'm not, when I first started keto, I didn't track in my weight loss tracker. I wasn't like eating in a calorie deficit. I was just trying to get my body to get with this new form of eating. And so I have to do that again, because if I force myself to switch to keto, track my meals, and eat in a calorie deficit, I already know how I am. I'm gonna get stressed out about it. And then I'm going to like <laughs> internally spaz out and then shut down because that's how I deal with stress. And I wanna change that. That's definitely something that I want to change is how I deal with stress. So yeah, so for this week, what I'm focused to know on is eating in a keto form but i want to do it the clean way not with all of the junk food and the tons and tons of fat and tons and tons of meat and cheese and no i want to do it very clean so this week that is what i am focusing on eating keto focusing on it being clean keto getting into my getting back into my full workout routine which if you haven't seen my beginners workout routine video i'll also link that in the cards above getting my water in i'm going to aim for it to be a half a gallon to 80 ounces so 64 ounces to 80 ounces that's my goal for this week and see how i do today honestly i've been eating keto and i actually haven't had any crash at all today after eating i felt satisfied i ate enough I'm, I'm actually like this is the first time I'm sitting down thinking about my day today and I'm already feeling better internally so we'll see how I do next week but I mean 0.8 pounds isn't a big <laughs> big thing it might seem very small to you but I mean I've been losing about two pounds so far so you obviously want to get that ball rolling but here we are. Okay, you guys, so let me know in the comment section below how did your week three go? What are you excited for for week four? It's pretty much nearing the end of the month. So get ready to gear up for your progress pictures, your progress videos, your measurements, all of that good stuff. That's what I'm gearing up for. So let me know in the comment section below how your week three has went. Are you struggling with anything right now? Have you gained weight, maintained weight, lost weight? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you're notified every single time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. That is where I'm posting my workouts and what I'm eating day to day, especially with me transitioning into keto i'm definitely going to be showing you guys on my stories and possibly on my post what it is that i'm eating so connect with me over there thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye -bye.